Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode three of Let's Play Dark Deity on Deity Difficulty. And today we've done our upgrades as far as I can tell. There's no armor upgrade or anything to do. So we are going to, and we've shopped as well, we are going to do bonds today and kind of click them and see what happens. Okay, um, hmm. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Do I click? Is there anything special that we do? Elias has a new one. Marin, Sia, and Irving. Irving has a new one with pretty much everybody. Garrick with Marin, Sia, Alden, Irving, and Lincoln. Alden with Garrick, Irving, and Marin. Sia with Elias, her partner. Bianca, Irving, and Garrick. And Marin with the original crew and Elias. Oh. Hey, Elias, what have you got there? Oh, hi, Marin. I'm just whittling. It's something simple for my hands while I think can't say I would call what you're doing there simple, but I guess that's beside the point. What's on your mind? Curious mind. Not much these days. I felt so at home in Duskwater. I think it's just taking me some time to adjust. Hmm. Well, where were you before Duskwater? A lot of places. Too many places, if you ask me. Okay, let's take it simple then. Where were you staying just before you stayed in Duskwater? Everharth, with the Void Mild dwar Dwarves. Did you like it there? Were you happy? I was. Truth be told, it was the happiest I've ever been. Really? How come? I learned to craft armor and weapons. They taught me their traditions and trade, all in exchange for nothing. A strange people, to be sure, but some of the best I'd ever known. It was there I learned to whittle, actually. Taught me how to stay happy with little. I learned that the family you can make can be just as loving as your own blood kin. That's beautiful. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry. You just look like you needed to let some steam out. Sure thing. No, I don't mind at all. You're a good listener. Do you always spend your time letting near strangers vent to you? Surprisingly enough, no. I'm really more of a private person, but I hate to see people stuck in their own head. Then you have a gift, really. I've met too many that don't even care to notice, much less do something about it. <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> I would say that honor belongs with you. CB, I see. So, okay, I get it. This is all so strange. Every time I think back to last days in Brookstead, it feels like a dream. Mm. I'm a bit surprised to hear you say that. Between the four of us, at least you were expecting to graduate. I don't know. Yes, but not like this. I'd never seen Master Galen that distraught before. He's usually so composed, like he's imperfectly in control. That's the nature of war. It strips even the powerful of their control. Galen knows that best of all. He's the one who taught it to us in the first place. I think he's learning the lesson again himself. That may be. Hmm. At least I don't have to wait another year for you and Garrick to catch up to me. And I know you've been eager to get out of there ever since you enrolled. Seems like you're getting your wish. No kidding. I'm definitely looking forward to stepping onto the stage and making an actual impact. I've spent my entire life up to now in the audience. That's called having a childhood, Irving. Well, I guess some people are just born to do certain things. I'm grateful for the chance to live out my calling. It'll be all right. I know you'll make the Academy proud, and your family, though I'll admit your brother set the bar pretty high. All the more reason not to take my eyes off of it for a moment. Ambition has its place, don't forget. It doesn't hurt to take a look at your surroundings now and then. As long as it doesn't slow me down. <sighs> I think you could afford to slow down a little. By my standards, I'm still not moving fast enough. You really think so? Oh well, maybe you'll understand what I mean someday. When I'm your age, perhaps? So in about a year? You might be surprised, Irving. A lot can happen in a year. Hmm. So are these filling out, like, Irving's, too? Yeah. 
Okay, so let's finish off Marin and Garrick. Garrick, hello. Everything's been happening so fast. I don't think I've had the chance to thank you for helping me with my trials. You're really something. No need. It was a privilege to see things through to the end for you. Come on. Not just for me, for all of us. And not even really the end, just the start of a new beginning. That's why they call it commencement. I always wondered about that. Really? Really? <laughs> no, I never gave it a second thought. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Garrick. I'm sure you're a bit anxious about Alden. He's quite young, after all. And that's not even the half of it. At least he'll be close where I can keep an eye on him. He'll be in good hands, then. And if his performance at your trial was any indication, he definitely shows promise. <sighs> He's very gifted, that's for sure. He just needs some direction. Well, you usually provide that whether your recipients want it or not. Am I really that bossy? <laughs> not with most people, no. Just with you? A bit, perhaps. It'll be all right. Yeah, well, maybe you could use it. Ever give that a second thought? Hardly. Can't say I have. And finally, Alden. Alden, come here. Your hat's falling off. Uh, just leave it alone. <laughs> there, that's better. Happy now? Alden? Don't be rude. Are you hungry? Did you pack enough beans? I'm fine, Marin, really. You're so fussy sometimes. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that all of this must be so new for you. Nope. Training for this was the whole point of the Academy. But you were supposed to have three more years to do it. Oh, I'm sure you miss your friends terribly. They were all recruited, too. Hmm. That's right. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> At least this way we get to stay together. <laughs> Very true. I was worried that what you might get up to without me stopping you from setting all the buildings aflame. Marin, you're doing it again. <sighs> Sorry, I just worry about you, Alden. We're facing all kinds of new dangers every day. Which reminds me, stay close to me in battle, all right? If anything goes wrong, I can heal you. But if you go too far, I can't guarantee you'll be safe. <sighs> Alden, did you hear what I said? Yes, Marin, stay close to you in battle. All right, good. Hmm. Okay, so that's good for Marin. Let's see, Lincoln. Um, let's go to Irving. And bomb with Lincoln. Oh, we can't. Let's bomb with Eli. Uh, let's start with our closest, Garrick. See, Garrick, I did tell you we'd pass our trials. And with flying colors, too. Though I don't remember you mentioning anything about skipping a grade. <laughs> Ha, even your father was surprised by that. That will take some adjusting for him, relinquishing control over his little corner of the world. Well, don't think our early graduation excuses your debts. You still owe me a meal and a cold drink at King's Cornucopia. I'm genuinely unsure if you're saying that because you're a man of your word or exceedingly cheap. Huh. Are those mutually exclusive? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. What a joke. King's Cornucopia, that place is so garish. Couldn't you have chosen, I don't know, literally anywhere else? Mm. You just don't want to see Claudia again. Yes, and I'm sure you find it quite amusing to watch me order a drink with my eyes fixed on my feet. I didn't say that. No, but you were thinking it. Mm. Claudia, I suppose she'll be staying behind in Brookstead after all. Business will be down. I do hope she fares all right. Sounds like you're learning to show a little empathy. Hardly. Rest assured, I'm as incapable of that as ever. <laughs> Garrick, the cold-blooded sharpshooter. I can hardly say it without trembling. That's me. You know, with all the chaos of our hasty recruitment, I'm glad we ended up in the same battle group. <laughs> I'd die of boredom otherwise. Now I'll at least get to die of something interesting. But not anytime soon if I can help it. Then let's hope you can, my friend. Wouldn't be the first time I've saved your life. Careful now. That's a river that runs both ways. Huh. I wasn't aware rivers did that. This one does. All right, now let's go to Alden. You've come a long way since I last stumbled into you and Marin in the sparring field. Well done, Alden. <laughs> Thanks, I've been training a lot. I'm sure you have. There's no shortcut to excellence. Well, you can always get lucky. It's not that simple. And you can just as easily get unlucky. It's better not to rely on luck. Are you sure? It seems to work all right for Garrick. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have you believe that, but trust me, it doesn't work as well as it seems. We definitely got lucky getting assigned a Sterling like that. No kidding. I'm with you there. That was unexpected. Hmm. 
So he didn't even tell you he was coming? No, I was completely surprised. It's a shame he couldn't stay with us longer. Yeah, I can't believe we actually beat him. There should be some kind of award for that. Not quite. Well, we had an advantage in numbers, don't forget. Huh? What about all the other challengers? Sterling. They were hardly comparable to Sterling. I guess that's true. Besides, I'm sure he's had to suspend all of his non-lethal tactics. That's probably all he was learning in the army. Huh? So you don't think I could have beaten him? You mean if it were just the two of you? Yep. Yeah, just us. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Alden, I'll never accuse you of setting unambitious goals. With some more training, possibly. Perhaps you could have beaten him. Then I'll keep at it until I'm strong enough to make history myself. Can't go wrong with that. Alright, Garrick and Alden. We'll see the ones that... We're doing these in kind of order of... First... Acquaintance. Hey, little man. Hope you're feeling good about that trial. I think we just might have set a record after all. You really think so? Hmm. It's possible. I'm sure he won in a minute, but from the look on his face, I'd wager you managed to impress my father, too. That's more than I can say for myself. Wow. Headmaster Galen? Wow. <laughs> yep, Headmaster Galen. Still sounds weird when people say that. Why? Because to you, he's just dad? Sure, let's run with that. Hmm. Does he act differently at home than he does at the academy? Yes, quite. <laughs> I thought he probably had a soft side. He's much worse. Oh. Well, what do you know? Nevertheless, we've managed to narrowly escape his clutches. Bit of an early graduation for you. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Yes, well, life's full of surprises. Good for you to learn that lesson early. I think Headmaster Galen used to say something like that. Yeah, the one who was always prepared is never taken by surprise. <sighs> Gods, I hope I'm not starting to sound like him. That is a rather convincing Galen impression, though. Alden, terrifyingly so, in fact. Thanks! Okay, now let's see who Irving... Um, Elias? You made a noble choice to serve your people, Elias. I'd rather not. Interesting you should say that. I don't feel as though I had much of a choice at all. Was Lincoln's speech so compelling? No, and do not... And no need to tell him that I said that. But after everything I'd seen Sia through, I couldn't watch her get thrown to the dogs at the whim of some king. Ah, I understand. But yours is a different story, I imagine. Yes. Yes, it was a lifelong dream of mine to serve the crown, like my brother before me. I see. Have you been at this for a while, then? Not quite. Real combat? No, not any longer than you. Oh, that's promising news. I have trained, though, quite extensively, and Lincoln and Bianca are experienced themselves. We're likely in the best of hands as far as new recruits go. If that's true, then this is a comfort. Don't worry. One thing I wouldn't do is intentionally lie to you about something like that, Elias. I'll trust your word on that. Okay, so this is pretty cool, man. Get all these conversations. Elias and Sia. Bonded. Here we are, Ellie, on a grand adventure together like I always said we would be. First, your version of always has a rather short definition. Second, this grand adventure came on a whim of yours, like everything else we do. Okay, let's do what you want to do then, if this is such a burden. Hmm, let me think about that. Maybe it would help if we weren't dedicated to a cause from which we might be executed for abandoning. Bummer. See? No good ideas ever. That's why I make the decisions on what we do. I think that's probably a massive oversimplification, but we can roll with it if you want. This is fun! Yay, I get what I want. Was it ever in question? Of course not. Really, though, if you want to dodge out and make a run for Carmat, Carmont, I'm all in. I don't want to drag you into something you're uncomfortable with. Uh. Oh, give it up. It's fine. Just wish we had discussed it beforehand. Well, next time I feel like I'm going to make a ridiculously compulsive decision, do you think I should ask you first? You can be my emotional touchstone. <laughs> do I think you should ask me first? Do you ever listen to yourself? You're just ridiculous. Oh, come on. So, that's a yes, right? Yes, of course I think that. Maybe then we wouldn't be stuck fighting in an unjust war for a nation we'd care nothing for. Hey now, watch the use of we here. I grew up in Delia. You grew up in Duskwater. The king of Delia never gave the slightest riff for you, your family, or your town. Well, pardon me for not sticking by centuries-old cultural traditions of identifying with the places I live. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, and that's it for the, uh... Bonds. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we'll go ahead and save. 
We spent 15 minutes on that, good to know. So let's uh, advance. We're heading into bandit territory. Just up ahead here, this is it. Give them no quarter. Positions, everyone. Let's make short work of these criminals. Just a moment, darling. I, I'm out of breath. Maybe if you'd listen to me instead of stuffing your face full of biscuits at the palace. It's not the biscuits, dear, I assure you. It's all this gold. Couldn't those bankers have spared us an ass or two? Or perhaps a few bodyguards to protect it? They're much too miserly for that. Besides, the king keeps these roads in good shape for travelers like us. If travelers like you have any mind to leave in good shape, you best be handing over your variables nice and easy. I'd like to take a look at this gold. Really? Take a look at this, lowlife. If it's a fight you'll want, you'll have it. I reckon the other prisoners could use a bit of company. Hmm, <clears throat> interesting. So our third fight, I believe it's our third? Yeah. Kind of have an idea. Defeat as many bandits as you can before they scatter and regroup. Okay. Ooh, level five with a hatchet plus one. Are you kidding me? Are they... They're all equipped like that. Yikes. Lincoln's level nine with a pickaxe right plus one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's suitable. Oh, he's not wielding the pickaxe. Oh, well. Still pretty cool. 2 XP. Bianca with the trident plus one. Let's get... Can do. Yeah, her up here. And end this guy's life. Nicely done. Push the advantage. Hmm. And a tier one token. Alright, Garrick. Let's see. Double axe, double axe, double axe. Chokuto plus one and it's blue. What does that mean? Hmm, seems very accurate. Baseline plus two. Level six Slayer. Oof. Okay, so I don't really want to kind of rush into battle. I think I'll let them come to me for the most part. So I'm just gonna bring you up here. See us level two. Added bring disposal. you here. This should be fun. Bring you here. Bring you here. Lead the way. Bring you there and well, kinda bring you there. Slide up a smoke. Okay, they're moving at us. Oh. I didn't have a good percentage, 63% to hit. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yanko with the double attack. Again. She's wicked. Well, that's one way to kill some bandits. Let's see here. He has a blue claymore. Okay, so he doesn't have the advantage on this guy. Because the arrow was going down. Do you have the advantage? You appear to. Um, I think Bianca can... And this. Yep. Push the advantage. Alright, let's No. This should be fun. Pretty cool. Ooh. We have two very strong 
fighters with us. We've got to get the lower level guys some XP too, which is going to be tricky. And he has a blue diamond, which means something that I can't figure out. Alright, let's see here. That guy has a Shakuto plus one with 32 HP. We should probably right away bring you here and you don't have the advantage there. Um, you, have, you don't have the advantage up there either. Hmm. Oh, it shows the advantage on all enemies at the same time when you click somebody. That's interesting. Um. Are you, you sure? Go ahead and blast him. Sure. Cool spell. Um, everybody's in the vicinity here, which is cool. Let's see. Can do. Bianca. Can attack this one. You can finish this one off. 100% chance to hit. You're Elias. making me look bad. Let's see. Lincoln. Awaiting orders. Come up here and attack. That one. Let's see, you can come up here and attack that one. Oh, 21% or a 51% chance to hit. I didn't lead the way. Notice that too much. Um No, I want her. Come up here and heal Lion. When you're ready, follow me. You come down here and attack him. The Claymore. Hmm. Okay, that was bad. That was very bad. She's got a Get the kill here and they're all gonna probably attack her please work okay that works yep on over attacking Garrick that's two Fourteen. Um, yeah, go ahead. Lincoln, stay there and heal him. You come up here, you have advantage. You can kill him, but it's a 63% chance. Oh. He should have used the food. Really? 
47% chance. Let's hope it hits. Cool. HP, magic, fortitude, work. speed. Alright. Um... Didn't give him much of a chance, huh? Let's see, foreign tuber. Let's see, you need to heal. Let's heal you full. HP, strength, magic, fortitude, dexterity, and speed. You get out of harm's way. In position. You get here, and... What does speed do? Increases dodge and true speed, okay. Luck increases critical chance and accuracy. Increases damage and use the ability to exploit high advantage matchups. So the higher your mastery, you'll want to... Exploit your advan advantage. Route for nine turns, okay. Hmm. Wow, those are three tough ones. Those are three easier ones, but there's more down here. Eesh. Alright, um... Bianca, come here. Lincoln, come here. Wait. Oops. What would be? Come here. Come here and use crab cake. Thought you'd never ask. How can I help? When you're ready, follow me. Love that you get XP from healing. Uh, you're pretty good, so you can come over here, and then you can come down here and wait, and here we go. Who's coming up for some? We got a longbower. You even get, um, XP for taking damage. S HP, bad, strength, defense, dexterity, and mastery. high level so he's getting much less XP all right you've got advantage here go ahead and take him out you have advantage here This guy, though, right away. Sixty-seven percent chance they hit. What kind of armor is Lincoln wearing? Plate. All right. Um. Hmm. This is actually kind of bad. We can't reach Bianca to it. heal her. Let's come up here and wait. Lead Let's the come way. here. Heal Bianca. To me. Um. That looks like it's. Oh wait, you can move. Thought you'd never ask. Come here and attack him. Fifty percent chance. That's it. Garrett got strength, Probably HP, defense, mastery, and luck. He's got a nice mastery stat. Oh. 
to white there. Short bow can attack her. That bandit can attack her. I dare not move her into any dangerous position, so. Will it be? Wait. Hmm. Take that. HP, strength, magic, Finally defense, fortitude, again. dex, mastery, speed. For Elias. Okay. Did not see that coming, but that horse gives them great nice maneuverability. Horse. Okay, so we've got to be careful here. If we bring you here... No. If we bring Bianca here... Can finish this guy. Wait a minute. Um, let's do it. Let's bring you down here and attack him. Albin is a very has a lot of potential. Awaiting orders. Let's get Lincoln on the front lines. You stay, but use a what's his current HP at? Two out of thirty. Okay, use a crab cake. No, use a Vorn tuber, and then she can come down and continue the heal. We've got you. Or can come down. I should haste. I guess. Since I have the chance. Here they come. This is justice. Nice. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Not much XP for him though. Because he is such a high level. 10% crit chance, I like that. Alright, time to wreck some heads here. You have advantage on him. Hmm. Right away. I think it's okay to come down here. And hit him. for an offensive formation here. Um, you're probably safe to come down here and kill him. 63% chance, though. It's been working for me, but not this time. Okay, Bianca. Come here and attack. One attack this time. Let's get you here and can I attack you? Kill you. That settles that. Works wicked with his bow. Elias can come here. Your Ooh. end approaches. Soulfire critical. Cool. I'll take point. Let's bring you down here. 
Anyone need healing? Not really. She'll... Go back and heal him. Nice to see you on your feet. Free XP. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. That was a 67% chance to hit, too. Elias is doing very well. Cool, we can route these guys. Um... I'm on it. You don't have advantage, you're not gonna kill him. You don't have advantage on that guy, so what if we come here and attack you? Yeah, that looks good. Get Irving in the action here. Receive crab cakes, strength, HP, defense, dex, mastery, speed, and luck. He's got good mastery. So take advantage of those abilities, those advantages. Wonder if she could get a kill. Why not? And a forty three percent chance of hitting, so um, let's get you the kill. Sixty three percent chance. It's not the most accurate spell, but it works. Mostly. Sometimes. Um. I'll have Bianca finish him off. You're making me look bad. Why has come down? Hmm. Dang. Lead the way. What's he gonna do? Probably attack Elias. No? Coming for Bianca. It's a death wish. Alright, we routed them. Stage clear. 600 gold. What do you know? I gave it to them straight. Bianca is the MVP. Elias dealt a lot of damage. Lincoln held his own. Garrick did well. Marin didn't deliver any damage, but did some healing. Sia, I tried to work in there. She got a kill. Eight kills for Bianca. Four for Elias. Three for Garrick couple crits. Four dodges for Bianca. Nice. Cool. Let's see what happens from here. Look here. This one seems to have been carrying a map of some kind. Yes, it's got a couple of ambush sites marked and several paths leading back to a place called Drakenweld Manor. What kind of average of crime lord lets their henchmen run about with a map of their secret hideout? rather crudely drawn. I wouldn't be surprised if the bloke made it himself. Well, let's hope he was a better cartographer than Bandit. Tell me, Elias, do you know anything of this place? Not specifically. The Drakenwald family was once quite influential in Duskwater and partly responsible for its founding as a mining town. It's just over the hill there. What happened to them? What always does. One bad air and a whole lot of empty coffers. If it's truly a noble manor, it will be well fortified. I suggest taking the afternoon to prepare. The cover of night might just be the advantage we need. Good man. Good man. It's refreshing to be among professionals. Your training serves you well. 
At least all those drills wiping windows are finally starting to make sense. Speak for yourself. Chapter 4. Treasure Unknown. Awesome game so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Hope you guys are as well. And uh, it looks like this is where we're going to end. Um, I want to thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you're having as much fun as I am. Let me know in the comment section if you are and you're enjoying this Let's Play. I always love reading comments. I will see you next time with much, uh, much more. Much love, peace, and joy. And so long, everybody. One love.